What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets Radio. Hope everybody's doing great. My last video was about road trips, my favorite road trips, and, and, and comparing MetLife to other stadiums. This one's just going to be about my favorite home games. You know, as a Jets season ticket holder, some experiences there. Obviously, we're all very excited about this season, but just kind of going back in history a little bit. Obviously, just a, a quiet time of year, so we're trying to generate different content. Feel free to share your favorite game as well. Um, my first one, my, one of my most memorable experiences in 1998 was obviously, actually it was 1999, it was Jets-Jaguars, um, the playoff game. And that experience was incredible. You know, the Jets with under parcels were just flying high. It was an awesome feeling the entire season because you know they were just well coached and they were just steamrolling people and they were ready to roll. And, and that stadium, I mean, we were there at crack of dawn, like 7.30 in the morning, tailgating, and the place was so fired up. And the Jets just came to play, and they just kicked, the, they just beat the hell out of Jaguars. Keyshawn Johnson had a, a game for the ages. He had like a rushing touchdown, receiving touchdown, fumble recovery, interception. You know, Curtis Martin did his thing. The defense was flying around, and it was just amazing. It was like all this, like we, Jet fans have been waiting for it for so long, and they finally get it. And then after the game, like the celebrating was like everybody's running around and hugging each other, and it was like we, we were in the parking lot until eight o'clock at night. Like it was just. It was such an awesome experience, and it makes you miss it because we don't we haven't had that much success before. So that's my first one. Obviously, one of my most memorable ones. Second one, the Monday Night Miracle. Now this is a funny game because I was there and we stayed, and it was like now when you when you hear the stories back, you think that there was like eighty thousand people there, and I know for a fact there wasn't because a third of them left. So the Jets are getting their asses beat. It was like thirty to seven. And, you know, you're sitting there and you're like, man, and the only reason why we didn't leave, to be honest with you, is we didn't want to sit in traffic because everybody was leaving. You saw it. There's like line. I'm like, oh, you know what? We'll just sit here, you know, maybe maybe like middle of fourth quarter. Because I never left games early, ever. I was like one of those fans. I'm like, you know what? If we're going to get blown out, I'm going to stay here. I don't even care. And slowly but surely, they start coming back. I think they scored, what, 23 unanswered. They tie at 30-30. And then they get down. They're down 37-30. They come back again. And it goes overtime. And the wild thing is, in overtime, Marcus Coleman picks the ball off, gets an interception, you go crazy, then he fumbles it. Then he picks it off again, and the Jets win. You had the Jumbo Elliott touchdown, which was wild. It was like a three-yard touchdown. But when he when it first happened, I thought he fumbled it. I didn't think he caught it. So that was crazy, and it, it was just a wild thing. And the crazy thing is, you go. I went to work the next day. I'm like, I don't even know, like three hours of sleep at that point because got home so late. And a lot of people thought the Jets lost because they kind of figured at 37, they lost. A lot of newspaper articles were assumed the Jets lost. And like people come to my office like, hey, man, rough game last night. I'm like, what are you talking about? The Jets won. He's like, you're kidding me. I mean, keep in mind, we didn't have social media like we have now. It's a lot different then in, you know, in 2000. But it was just people didn't realize it. And that was just a crazy, crazy, crazy experience. That So it's a game like that you just don't forget ever. Um, my, next, my next one is 2002, Jets-Packers, last game of the season. And... The Jets actually end up winning the AFC East in this game. But the weird thing is, you go to a game in the parking lot, and you pretty much thought the Jets weren't going to make it. I think, what was it, the pack, the uh, the Dolphins were beating the Patriots by 11 points. You know, it's like you're sitting there, you're watching all these games. Like, you knew the scenario, like, the Patriots had a win, and they weren't. And it's like, you're sitting there, like, you're going to this game. It's going to be a meaningless game, not going to do anything. And then, lo and behold, they come out. So you're sitting in your seat, and we all have the radio on. Like, we're trying to figure out, like, what the hell's going on? Like, wait a minute. The Patriots win this, and the Jets win the game. They're going to go to playoffs. And all of a sudden it happens, and the state, they announce it inside the stadium, and it goes crazy. And all of a sudden, the Jets, they're playing lights out. I mean, they just start, I mean, they had Favre completely disrupted. I think Pennington had, what, four touchdowns or something like that. Corbett had two touchdowns. I mean, it was just, the play thing was electric. It was wild. Santana Moss had a great touchdown. It was just wild. Like, the, the swing of emotion where you go, to the, you go to the stadium with kind of not much hope at all, to having hope, then once the, you know, once the, you have a chance that if you win, you're in, then you got to win, and the Jets just blow them out. Absolutely incredible. But even more incredible was they take on the Colts the next week, and people didn't know what to expect from the Jets, and the Jets just steamroll. 41 nothing, topped off by Richie Anderson with like it was like a 56 yard touchdown. I think it was like or 60 yard. It was long as hell, and they just and it was like the the passion and and just the the um, just the excitement from Jet fans. And like the, the chance and the emotion and like the defense chance and all the celebrating, it's like for, if you talk to a Jets fan, we always we can give you a litany of bad losses and heartbreaking moments and horrible draft picks and horrible coaches and all this stuff. But the fine moments, the good moments are just we we just celebrate like there's no end. And that was just an amazing experience. It really was. It was just it was awesome to be there. It was worth every penny to be there. And, and that was cool. So. 
you have, you know, no, we don't have many home playoff games, and the Jets do. They always play well. Um, next one, 2009, Rex Ryan against the Patriots, his first home game. And you know, listen, there's been times where Meadowlands and MetLife's been rocking. I have never heard the stadium that loud before. It was I had no voice for like three days. It was crazy. Rex Ryan, Mark Sanchez, the rookie, coming off beating the Texans, taking on Tom Brady, the Patriots, and the Jets find a way to scratch and claw. <coughs> excuse me. And they win 16-9. And, I mean, it was just... Rex Ryan gives the game ball to the fans. It was an unbelievable, unbelievable experience. Um, next one, last one to me is the 2011, um, the 9-11 game against the Cowboys. A very emotional game. I mean, I worked in Rutherford, New Jersey. I worked right across the water from the Twin Towers. So when all went down, it was very, very crazy. Um, we, you know, every time, I, every day when I drove into the office, we saw the smoke. Um, it was very near and dear to my heart. A lot of people were affected by it. So that, that night was very, very emotional. Um, you pulled in the stadium and you were, you met with like, you know, guard sniffing, you know, the, uh, the dogs, you had guards, like armed guards, guys with machine guns, the, the military, you know, helicopters flying by. There was like, you know, they had the, the amount of p police presence was amazing. They were had their emptying out trucks, looking at bomb sniffing dogs. And there was so much emotion and so much pride. And the Jets did a really good job with the, the pregame ceremony, the halftime ceremony is emotional. They weren't playing very well, but they overcome a, a fourth quarter. I think it was, it was a 14-point deficit. Revis with a big interception. Joe McKnight, rest in peace. A block punt. I think it was Isaiah Trufant returned it. You know, there was so many, just a, an enormous swing of emotions. And the Jets kind of find a way to win the game in the last few seconds with a field goal. And that was just, again, like a moment you'll just never forget. So the, another moment, obviously, was when the Jets beat the Bengals to make it to go into you know the last game at, at Giants Stadium to go into the playoffs. But you know, you look at it, you look. Those are my most memorable ones. There's obviously some big wins, like Sanchez had a lot of comeback wins and and stuff like that. But it's just and a lot of a lot of games, 1998 too. But these are my most memorable ones. If you want to share some of yours, that'd be great. And I'll talk to you next time.